Welcome to Fusion Reactor. Today, we're going to be looking at Fusion Reactor's thread profiling capability. Using threads incorrectly can create many different kinds of problems. Too many active threads can result in thread starvation, or threads can block each other, impacting the performance of your application. By acquiring locks in the wrong order, you can generate a deadlock scenario. Understanding how specific threads are running is important for understanding performance impacts. Also, being able to profile threads is important for debugging purposes. Fusion Reactor includes several views which provide lots of details on thread status. And they allow you to instrument individual threads in order to get to the root cause of stability of performance-related issues. The thread-related views can be found beneath the Resources tab on the left menu. These include Thread Activity, which shows the current total running threads, thread state, which breaks the threads down into their individual states, and also the thread visualizer. The thread visualizer provides a real-time tabular view of the current state of all running threads. Threads can be sorted by elements such as CPU, amount of time they've been in wait, or blocked mode. You can also filter for specific threads, such as NIO, for native IO. Fusion Reactor allows you to profile as well as stack trace a specific thread. The profiling capability enables you to see performance-related information and how much time was spent in each individual method. You can start and stop the profiler by clicking on the profiler icon next to the thread you would like to profile. Clicking on the icon again will stop the profiler. The profiler details can be found in the profile history view, which you can get to here. And there are the details of the thread we've just profiled. Going back to the Thread Visualizer screen, invoking the Stack Trace will generate a Stack Trace for the selective thread. This is particularly useful for debugging purposes. You can invoke a Stack Trace by clicking on the Stack Trace icon. Individual lines in the stack are color coded. Blue represents class names. Methods are red, and file names and line numbers are green. These elements are clickable. Clicking on class or method name will result in that class or method being instantly decompiled. And the current line, which is executing, is highlighted. You can see that here. Breakpoints can also be set interactively when a decompiled method or class is shown. Fusion Reactor is available for a 14-day free trial. Download and start your free trial today.